Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick and welcome back to another video. So in the last video I talked about that uh, that we were going to be making a mod item group and uh, I wasn't able to do it, but now uh, we can. And the reason you can't previously was because if there are no items in the item group, the item group will not show. And actually we're going to do that because we're going to make both the mod item group for items and we're gonna do it for blocks and I'm just gonna show you through the blocks that when they're not showing that that's because it's not that it's not there it's because there's nothing in it so let's just kind of let's just kind of get into it so the first thing you are gonna do is go into items and you're going to create a new class called mod item group and now that you got that going so now you can kind of come up and you can so the first thing that you you want to do is your item group is the creative tabs that you have so there's a couple of them there is like your your decorations your building blocks your redstone tab this is so that if you're ever testing something in creative you will just you will be able to see it easily access it but it is going to need a name so and this is the name that we're giving it not the not the literal name we'll get there in a moment but you're going to need to make a coding name for it so let's call it uh public static item group and then let's create the name so for this like i said we're going to be creating one called mod i oh put a little underscore mod items and then we're also going to make one called mod blocks <clears throat> And now, let's make the uh, items. So we need to make a register for it and then somehow put it to be initialized. So for now, public uh, static void register item. Actually, we can call it a mod item group. Uh, there's nothing special about this here yet. Uh, so first we have um, mod items, right? And so that's going to be in the fabric item group API. Make sure it's that the V1. So the, the class is what you're looking for because that one has the builder. And inside the builder, you're going to do new identifier. And the string is going to be, you're going to need to have your mod, mod ID. And then you're going to need the path. And that is going to be called, let's call it I, oop, I t items. And right outside items, we can do dot uh, display name. And then we're going to put it right like that. And then here we can do text dot literal. And this is what it's going to literally look like inside the game when we hover over it. So we can call this mod items and then we can do dot icon and then we're do it again like this and then this I believe needs one more like that and then we can do this and we can do new uh, not item stack oh wait no it is an item stack <laughs> lol and then so your item stack is basically going to be um what what do I want the picture of it? So I believe for like for redstone, it's redstone dust, and then for like decoration blocks, I think it's like a grass block. So I could do uh, things that exist in my mod. So I could do mod items dot beating stick, and it'll work. Or I could do um, if I just want something for Minecraft, we'll just call them items. Or if I do like if I do like blocks dot, and then I have literally all the blocks that can possibly exist we're gonna get there when we make the other one so for this one let's make uh items dot blue orchid we're gonna end the parenthesis and then we're gonna put a little colon tab after it oh i almost forgot uh dot build there you go <laughs> that would have been an issue so here now i can basically copy and paste this uh, and instead of items, this one is going to be blocks. Now we're not going to put anything in this one, so it shouldn't show when we load the game. 
and then we're just going to change everything that says items and we're going to make it blocks so this one's items blocks bl blocks there we go and then the last thing that i want to change just to just to show that it's a little bit different we'll we'll find this when we find uh when we get some blocks going but for now let's do blocks dot let's say uh end portal just like that and uh so now uh we do have an item so this will work and then this one won't so in mod items we're going to need to register this because it's not being registered but we also need to use it otherwise it's not doing anything so we have the mod item group but nothing is in either one of them so uh let's let's first let's do mod uh, actually let's do the other one first let's go into items and let's register inside them and there's a reason why i'm going to point out something very important uh, when we get to the um, the initialization class and uh, so, something important about it. Um, so <clears throat> this is going to come into two parts. Kind of like how we have register mod items and register item. There is one that's got all the special stuff saying uh, this is what I want to it specifically look like, string, name, item, item. And then there's one that just goes to the initializer. So we're going to make the... Um, just the random one, the one that's basically registered but has nothing in it, or the stuff that it needs. So for this, uh, we are going to do public static void, and then we're going to call this uh, add items to item uh, gr g r o u p group. All right, and then we're going to come up here. All right. And then from here we can do we're gonna call it add uh, two item G R O U P. We're gonna add this in just a moment. So for here we're gonna need a mod item group dot. We're adding the items, and then we're gonna add the item beating stick, and then we are gonna call it a day. And leave that like that. Now we need to say now we need to make a method called add to item group, and it needs to have the stuff in it, so it can be read. This can be registered, and to easily do that, best way we can do that is by starting uh, public uh, static void, and then like I said, it's going to be called add to item group. Now it's being used. But you can see how it's underlined. It's because we need to call what we're taking. So right now we can look at the um, item group, i item, item group, and then the group. So that is this first part. So this is the item group and its group. And then the last thing that we're going to need is the item, item, and then the special stuff about it. So now we need to, inside this code that we are about to do in these little brackets, we are going to be using, we're going to be calling how we're going to be using this item and group. Because now this is correct. It has the, it's using the item, it's using the item group. But now how are we going to get those things? So we have something called uh, item group events. And that's going to be dot modify entries event group. And then we need to do the other one, dot register. And then we're going to do the other ones, entries. And then entry, ooh, entries dot add. And then this one's going to be item. So now we have group and item being called. The only thing that isn't being called is this. And we can simply do this, control C, by adding it to there. Boop. So this now will get registered and this gets initialized in here. And now that we have this open, we're going to do mod item group dot register mod item group. And we're going to hit, uh, we're going to hit go. And it's going to try and open the world, but it's not going to work. It should crash. And if anybody who understands why it's crashed, it's because your initializer is very important. The 
order in which things are initialized is very important. Although I made this first, this needs to go on top of it. And the reason it needs to go on top of it, I'm going to assume that it is because this needs to be made first so that this can go inside of this. If your items are made first and then your item group, it, it can't put your mod items in an item group that doesn't exist yet. So it tries and puts it in the item group and then it realizes there is no item group and then it crashes. So now we put the item group on first because that needs to be created first on top. So now we have this empty, empty bucket and then we have the fillers of the bucket, the water for it. So now it should work just fine. And as we can tell, it worked. Look at that. So, and then another thing on top of that, there should only be one item group and it should be item. Now the blocks is working, but you should not be able to see it because we haven't done anything with it yet. We haven't put anything inside of it. So although if we look in here, it says that mod blocks is working, it's because it is working. It's being used up here. And if I click up here, it says it's being used down here. So it's kind of like looping, I guess. But there's nothing in it. And if it, there's nothing in it, if it's empty, then it, it just won't show. And so here we have mod items. So this little mod items here is called your literal text. And then um, we have your, uh, your stuff. We can also put the, well, literal text when I hover over it, but it's also written here because we're not always hovering over it. And from here, we can grab as many beating sticks as we want. An infinite supply of beating sticks. But with that in mind, uh, if you um, if you under <laughs> if you try to understand that, now these things are here, these little arrows. These I think they're called factories. Could be wrong. They're a little bit hard to understand. Uh, I don't completely get them, um, but I do understand like the the pointers and the like the basic idea of it. Uh, if you have an issues with this uh, stuff like this. Um, I'm I'm gonna have like no clue. The only other things that I know that really deal with a lot of these is the uh, the villager traders, and trading with villagers and stuff like that. But with that, that now we have our first item group. It's got items. We're gonna be getting more item groups as we move on through the videos because the next video that we're gonna be making should be the mod blocks. And we make the mod blocks we are going to make it so that it automatically will start using the item group mod blocks. So we don't have to make this uh, the way it should already be established, but it's all there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado,